Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the irreversible cube. It looks like a regular 2x2 Rubik's cube, but actually it is not. Uh, let me show you one move and it's going uh, clockwise. And now this puzzle is completely scrambled. And you would say, well, why is it scrambled? Just uh, turn that move back. It's blocked. You can't move back. Okay, then you try to move forward. It's blocked as well. Can't move anywhere. So, well, let's then do another move. Ah, good. But then this move is blocked and you can't go anywhere. And you see, it quickly uh, scrambles because every time you do a move, you can make only one quarter turn and you can't move uh, anymore. So uh, there is a special mechanism that uh, enforces for the uh, quarter turns only and it uh, goes uh, step by step. So uh, um, when you do a turn at first, you come to a point where you can't go any back. So here you are locked, you're forced to go further. Then at this point, there is a pin that pushes something and it releases the others. And then at the next step, um, you're here and then you can't go back to that uh, position. So how does the mechanism work in detail? This is what is at the inside of the puzzle. Um, you see the squares, the centers, they can turn alternative, uh, alternatingly. But uh, if I want to turn one square back and forth, it doesn't work. But then I turn another square and now you see this square is unlocked. And now it's locked again. And this one is unlocked and now this one. So I can turn them uh, one and then the other. But I cannot make a second turn. So I'll show you the mechanism uh, at the inside. What you see is these uh, three little pins. They are hard to see, uh, but if I turn the top one, you see a pin from above pushing the others at the side. So this one is now blocked. And now I'm turning this one and the other one comes out. And here now I turn the right one and you see the pin pushing out, pulling back and releasing again this one. So going uh, even deeper into the puzzle. So this is uh, what's at the inside. You see the square pin. It's rotating in this groove mechanism and it's probably almost impossible to see. But here you see a little groove mechanism and here you see the square pin with, uh, well, the little pinnies at the side. And when I turn it like this, you see the pin moves out and it moves in and it moves out and in. Well, that's uh, how the mechanism works. Um, let me uh, show you also uh, something special because uh, here I have a cheat pin uh, because, uh, well, you know, one turn and everything is scrambled, but uh, there's a very tiny hole. I don't think you can see it, but it's uh, here at the point and you can put the little metal rod in here and then you can release a pin at the other side. And then you can make a turn. Let's see. Yeah, there we can make the turn. And now it's locked again. And I push the metal pin again. And I can make oh, more pushing. Yeah, there we are. And I can make the turn again. So this is a very confusing uh, puzzle, even though uh, it looks like uh, it scrambles like a regular 2x2, two two, but it is not. So here's my question to you. I showed you that this puzzle can be scrambled with a single turn. So how many moves does it take at minimum to undo that single turn? Thank you for watching.